What's up, everybody? I am BK, bkbangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm tackling another subscriber uh, request or question. Um, this one comes from Patrick Santos. Patrick Santos had a question for me saying uh, he's using MIDI drum pattern loop on sample one and wants to know do he use one shot or normal in order to play out thoroughly on the track now <clears throat> I'm confused when you say one shot or normal if you're using one shots it's best if you're using MIDI loops because you know, one shots is single, single um, waves. So the MIDI drum pattern in a loop would be all those one shots played in a loop, right? When you say normal, I'm not sure what you mean by normal. I'm going to display it and maybe you can get an understanding of, of what I sh show. And I hope that helps. He also asked, um, says he's having issues with Melodyne Editor in Studio One Four. He said he's tried editing a sound and a message keeps popping up saying Melodyne is not compatible with Studio One. And it's saying check for updates and everything is up to date any ideas how to fix the issue because a couple of days ago it was working just perfectly i'm not sure about that i haven't come across that issue myself i'm gonna i haven't opened up melodyne editor in in a couple of days so uh i'll see if it's like a bug or something when i do open up open it up and i'm gonna do all of that right now so catch y'all on the flizzy so we're over here in Studio One Four. I have Sample One open and it's blank. Now, when you open up Sample One, you can drop in one shots. You could drop in one shots uh, and waves directly into Sample One. Um, you can press this plus symbol and you're able to go to wherever you have your sounds located and you could drop them directly in that way or you can go to go to wherever you have your sounds and drop them in that way as well. So if you had sample one loaded, in order it, for it to be like a drum kit, you'd have to set it up that way where you can put different sounds on it, right? But that's not what I'm gonna do today because I don't think that's what you mean. I believe what you mean is if you had a MIDI file and you dragged the MIDI file onto it, and it played in a loop. So I'm gonna display that real quick by, I'm gonna just create a quick, a quick drum loop and then drag the MIDI in.
All right, so we have that drum loop going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export it as MIDI and I'm going to drag it over into Studio One if it'll let me do that. So boom, we have the MIDI file here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bypass the MPC. This would be considered a drum loop, right? So if you had your drum loop or MIDI loop, this would be it. So as you can see, you only have one sound inside of sample one. So when you're dragging or using the, the MIDI loop, you might be running into the issue saying that you want it to play normal. But if you have a MIDI loop on onto sample one, sample one only has one sound um it only has one one <laughs> one sound now you can add additional sounds and um put them on on a key but that's like doing a lot so i wouldn't suggest that really but i'm gonna i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you it real quick if you was to do that if I can remember, um, so. so this is what you're talking about. The trigger, normal one shot or toggle. All right, so now I understand what you mean. So the trigger, That's me triggering it. That's normal. That's one shot. So normal is, all right, I see exactly what's going on. Normal is inside the MPC which is off right now, we have note on, which is basically you hold and press the pad. When you, when you have note on, and that's what normal is. But when you press one shot, It's the entire uh, drum. And toggle, I don't even know what toggle is. Toggle is just like one shot. So that's what you mean. I thought you meant something completely different, but Still, if you got a drum, a MIDI drum file that you want to run as a loop, it's still not going to, you'd have to have multiple, like, you know, this one would be the kick. Then you have a second one that will be the snare. Um, a third one would be the, the hi-hat and so on and so forth. That's what you would use to... Um, to trigger the sound and one shot as i did tell you when i answered your question one shot would be best but i didn't realize you were talking about the trigger because you didn't say that in your question so it threw me off i didn't know what exactly i was looking for 
So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna edit this video down so it'll be much shorter and condensed, being that I, you know, I figured out exactly what you were talking about. Um, I hope that helps. Again, if you have multiple sounds, though, in that in that drum um, MIDI loop, in which I would think you would, right? You know, you would want to have multiple instances of sample one. Or you can drag in a drum break and chop up the drum break and have the drum break trigger have the midi notes trigger different sections in the uh drum break loop but that's a completely different step i might do that and show you how to do that in the next video but that's pretty much it y'all do remember that music is life it is our dna patrick i hope you um you tune in and i hope this helps you if it doesn't when this video goes live be sure to post it up in the comment section and I try to address it at my most earliest convenience. I right. peace, love, light. Till next time.